Namaste. This video covers in detail the upcoming Saturn retrograde in the sign Aquarius. Before going into the details, let me quickly explain the concept of retrograde. In Vedic astrology, Vakra Gadi or Vakra means retrograde. When the earth passes by a planet, the planet appears to move backwards. To explain this concept, imagine when, it, when we are traveling in a vehicle like car, bus or train and we are standing in a signal, the vehicle next to us moves forward, but we feel that we are moving backward. It's an illusion. The same thing happens with the planets. However, this illusionary movement of planet does bestow specific results. Except luminaries, that is sun and moon, all the other planets have retrogression movements. Rahu, Ketu are always in backward movement. There is a simple calculation to remember this retrograde period easily. Whenever the planet Saturn or Jupiter transits the 5th to 8th houses from sun, they turn retrograde. You should also not forget that a retrograde planet in the sign of debilitation is an equal exaltation sign. And the exalted retrograde planet acts as though it is debilitated. Vedic astrology text called Faladipika explains this concept beautifully. Let me explain the detail what you can expect from this retrograde Saturn in the sign Aquarius. Saturn turns retrograde on uh, June 17, 2023 and will remain in the sign in the in backward movement until November 4, 2023. It's going to be there for 140 days. Vedic astrology text says Saturn retrograde motion allows one to review the past and analyze mistakes to make wiser decisions for a better future. It encourages people to take ownership of their action and responsibilities while encouraging them to use their knowledge and experience to make better choices. It also warns against acting an impulse and urges people to think before they act. At the same time, it encourages people to focus on developing their best traits and abilities and to use them for greater good. By doing so, a person can grow spiritually and find true fulfillment. Saturn is moving backward in one of his strongest signs, which is also his favorite sign. Saturn's retrograde period can be considered a transformation period for all of us. This 140 day period can help us identify how to find our inner strength and achieve personal freedom and independence. This can also help us to develop a life philosophy that will stand the testing times. Saturn here allows you to push your boundaries and discover something new about yourself. Finally, let me share the impact of Saturn retrograde by moon sign and do's and don'ts for each moon sign. This retro is going to be good for Aries, Taurus, Virgo and Sagittarius. Do's and don'ts for these four moon signs for your best transit. Let go your arrogance and being adamant. Be devoted to everything that you do. Be honest and righteous. Avoid being self-centered and over-ambitious. Next, this retrograde is going to be Average for Gemini, Leo and Libra moon signs. Do's and don'ts for these three moon signs for your best transit. Good time to take well-planned initiatives to accomplish goals. Work on improving your knowledge and listening skills. Avoid being impulsive. Stay away from bad company. Finally, this Saturn retrograde is going to be challenging for Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius and uh, Pisces moon sign. Do's and don'ts for these five moon signs for your best transit. Good time to enhance your organizational abilities. Work on improving your wealth. Avoid being aggressive. Stay away from being careless and argumentative. May Saturn bless you and your family to review your past efforts, to enjoy progress and success in all walks of life. Namaste.